Welcome to the Tour and Private Cellar. I'm Charles Williams. I'm the cellar master here. Please join me for a private tasting where we will briefly discuss the history of our farm. Then we'll go to my favorite place, um, the vineyards, where we will cover a little bit of the topic of organic farming, as well as all the little techniques that we use to guide the berries and the vines to actually become the best they can possibly be. Then we'll follow the path of the grape all the way into the cellar, where we'll gently guide it towards the sumptuous wine that you always find in the glass when you join the glass of the tourum. We, as a tourum, um, find ourselves on being the first winery in South Africa to introduce a full five variety Bordeaux blend, red Bordeaux blend, of course, which simply means that you utilize all the five varieties that you are able to plant in Bordeaux, France, namely Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, Malbec, and Petit Bordeaux. We express the different portions of our farm, the different aspects essentially, the different soil types, in five different wines, all of them here behind me. So the Tour and Delica, the Fusion 5, the Tour and Z, and the two wines on top, the Book 17 and the Black Diamond. Please join me outside and let's start this exciting journey. Welcome to the vineyards. As I mentioned, this is my absolute favorite place in the world. So maybe let's first just look at geology. So where we're standing at the moment, it's something called the Kales River Pluton. Um, so that's just a model of the material on which we are standing, which is about 450 million years old. And I always, when I'm standing right here, I, I almost get this overwhelming sense of um, just being fortunate enough to be a little speck of history in that uh, period of time. So the Turin actually got founded not on the purpose of actually to start make wine. It was a very serendipitous um, series of events that took place that helped us to realize that where we are standing, the area lends itself to making quality red wine. Um, two of the factors that really influence this is the ocean breeze, which I will discuss in a moment, and then the complexity of our soils. Now, like I mentioned, our soils is around about 450 million years old. If you come a little bit closer to the surface, you'll find up to as much as 15 different soil types um, which we farm on. So all of these have just got slight variations of what they will lend towards the crop growing on it. And that's actually where the, where the five variety Bordeaux blend took hold. Um, when we analyzed each of these individual soil types, we saw that different varieties would really thrive on them. So for instance, if you've got a little bit of a stronger soil type, like oak leaf, um, something like Petit Verdot will really flourish there. For Malbec, you need a much poorer soil type, something like static spray. And Cabernet, you want a little bit more rock fragment. For Merlot, you want a little bit more clay fragment. So once we did all the analysis on our soil, we said, what varieties will fit in there? One of the five Bordeaux varieties actually ticked the box. And that's where the light went on and we say, we are in an area where we can make brilliant red wines. Um, the sea breeze will hugely help us in, in that influence. We do have the soils to accommodate each of these wines. And that's what we said. Let's take that concept from Bordeaux, which is hugely successful. Let's put it on South African soils and let's express it in a South African way. And I think that's what we've been able to do hugely successful over the past 20 years.